Hello, my name is Peter Raymer, and today I wanted to show you how you can filter data on forms in Microsoft Dynamics 365 for Finance and Operations. There's actually four main ways that we can filter uh, data on forms using the functionality built into these forms. I'd really like to show you how to use an execute query in X++ code, um, but before I show you that, it's important to understand all the functional ways that you can filter data. If your form can use these functional ways, great, then you don't have to write the X++ code. If there's some specific functionality um, where you want to filter data in a very specific way, then overriding the execute query method uh, will allow you to do that. And so I'll cover that in a separate video, but first let's look at the functional ways. Okay, um, this first functional way is called a filter pane. Um, if we go to the release products form, specifically this cost management inventory accounting release products and we can find that by typing release products in this top bar we actually get this form here um, and if you click this filter button on the side here you will get a list of filters i've actually already filtered this so i'm going to get rid of this just so we can see this again if i click apply on this it should show me all all of our products. By default, it's giving me a filter where I could type in the item number. But we can actually click this Add button and it's gonna pop up a dialog and let, allow me to select um, all the fields that are part of the underlying tables and data sources for this form. In this case, I'm gonna type the product name. I see the product name right here. So I'm gonna select that it's going to then filter this grid to only show me the product name field. Then I can click this checkbox under this selection or select field and click update. When I do that, it's going to add the product name to this filter pane on the left hand side. I can then um, change this drop down to instead of be begins with, I can pick any of these other options to help me filter my data. In this case, I'm gonna say contains, and I've noticed that a couple of these products have the word tire in their name. So I'm gonna go ahead and type tire and click apply. When I do that, the system's going to filter this data to only show me um, records that meet this criteria. I could keep adding additional filters if I want but this is the filter pane uh, way of filtering data. Next, I wanna show you this advanced sort um, feature. This is probably the least common that we're gonna run into, um, but if I uh, start on a new form and I type in the word invoice, I'm gonna to come to this menu item, accounts receivable, invoices, batch invoicing. When I click on that, it's actually gonna open up um, a batch invoice form for us that looks like this. I can then click this select button that is on this form. This has to be you know, manually built into this form. These select buttons are only on certain forms. They tend to be on um, batch jobs, sys operation um, framework jobs as well. So if I click this select button, it will give me an advanced uh, sort criteria. So here I can see all the different, uh, this will just show me some of the fields that are built into the system for criteria, but I can actually add additional um, rows to this grid and select any underlying field that is on any table um, that's associated with the query that, that's on this form. I know that was a lot, um, so hopefully it makes a little bit of sense, but essentially this is a batch job to invoice sales orders. And so there's an underlying query that says, what are the sales orders that we can invoice? Um, and so these have been kind of pre-programmed in as criteria for this process, but using this advanced sort um, functionality, we can actually filter that. 
Right now I can see the default is we're filtering to show and process all sales orders with a status of open order to delivered. That's what kind of the two dots means is it's a range of values. But I can also type in a value into here and say I would like to only run this particular batch job for a specific customer account. I can add additional criteria and um, add as much as I want and get down as much detail as I want to run the job for what I'd like. Then I can click OK and run the batch job. So this is an advanced uh, filter slash sort. The next two that I want to show you are actually the most common. Um, and that is a quick control and column header filters. So let me just refresh my page right here and then I'll show you that functionality. On this form, I've gone to the all customers form. You can type that in the top box here to find all customers under accounts receivable customers. Now that I'm on this form, this form has what's called a quick control built into it. This control used to only exist um, in list page forms in AX 2012, but in D365 we can actually add this control to any form that we want. Um, as a best practice, you push put this control um, above a grid and you point it at this grid control. And what it can do is it can allow you to type in some value and then indicate which column you would like to sort on. So in this case I'm seeing Percy is in this name um, field. So if I go ahead and type Percy into this quick control, I actually get a little pop up where it asks me which column of this grid I'd like to filter on. If I select telephone, that's not going to work. It's going to try to filter that, you know, look for Percy in that telephone column. But if I select name, and click on it, it will actually filter the grid and just show me all uh, values in this grid with the name Percy. I can obviously adjust this and type something else and type in, you know, say 30 and say I want to look for all customer groups um, or all records where the customer group is 30. So this becomes a really useful, quick way of filtering data. Um, and then that leads me to the last way that we can filter data. We can filter data by actually just selecting each one of these column headers and so, selecting a value. So let's say I do come over to this telephone and I click the drop down. I get a dialog box similar to what you saw before with the filter pane and I can do sorting. I can also then filter and say I would love to find all records where the phone number starts with 123. Maybe that's our area code. I can click apply and then the system's going to refilter the grid and show me all records that start with 123. Uh, these combine with the quick filter um, so I'm seeing both the records that have customer group 30 and 123. I could clear this out and then I would see all customers that start with telephone number 123 but are part of any customer group. So again those are the four main types of filtering data. This is really useful to know that you can use these controls and functionalities if they're added to the form and give the user a lot of capability to do uh, whatever filters they want to do. Sometimes however you want to um, restrict the way the user filters the data and that's where execute queries come in they can allow you to have a little bit more control and tie to some other things so we'll cover that in another video thank you so much for watching i really appreciate you watching if you like the video click the like button i also invite you to push the subscribe button as well if there's other topics you would like to see a video on please post in the comments and i'll see what i can do i hope you learned something new today Thank you.